Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about baby rubber plant. Um, it's also known as Peperomia obtusifolia and also known as radiator plant. And this plant is a species of pep Peperaceae family which is native to rainforest of South America. Now this plant as you can see, it looks like a succulent but it's not a succulent. Um, but all its qualities are that of a succulent like as you can see it has got thick upright stems with glossy cup shaped wide leaves and the leaves are also very thick so the speciality of this plant is that the leaves store a lot of water in them so um, it can tolerate even the drought conditions the leaves are usually green in color, but some of the variegated species, they've got white or yellow colored leaves as well. Now this plant can withhold medium to bright light, like the light as you can see in this video, medium to bright light, but intense um, bright direct sunlight is a big no-no for this plant. Um, regarding watering, as I said, it um, acts like a succulent and it stores <coughs> uh, sorry, a lot of water in it. So um, there's not no need to water this plant very frequently. Uh, maybe once or twice a week should be fine depending upon the weather conditions. Like if it's too cold, maybe you don't need to water it maybe for 10 days or so. But if it's really hot, then yes, maybe twice a week should be fine. But you should allow the soil to dry out uh, between the two waterings. The plant will survive well at an average room temperature, um, average like home temperature. If you think that you can feel uh, comfortable with that type of um, temperature, then surely the um, rubber plant as well can stay um, in that temperature. Um, now, as I said, the, that the qualities of this plant are same as that of a succulent. So um, this plant is quite resistant to diseases and pets, pests. Um, and it's um, a non-toxic plant. Uh, but still you should try to keep it away from um, the reach of small children and pets but otherwise it's non-toxic now even though it does not have um, any it does not get diseases very easily but sometimes you might find that the leaves are getting dull and they are getting um, yellow they are fading um, then that means um, that the plant has been sitting in direct sunlight for quite a long time so you need to maybe change the place of where the um, the plant has been sitting um, sometimes you might see that the leaves are wilting that means the plant has been underwater it has been neglected so you might need to water the plant um, more frequently um, but the good thing of this plant is that if the plant has been underwatered and the um, leaves do start drooping out and you rewater the plant, the leaves will regain their, <coughs> sorry, the same um, plump. They will regain the same plump and it will become again green and beautiful and glossy. Sometimes you might see that the plant is wilting with the leaf loss, like there is a, leaves are also falling. That means that you have overwatered your plant. Um, so you need to be careful. Uh, I need to keep an eye on the, how the leaves have been changing. Sometimes you can see um, that the leaves, the tips of the leaves are browning. Um, that happens when it, the temperature is very cold. Like if you have kept your plant under a uh, patio or um, outside and the temperature is quite cold, that time also the leaves start browning and they um, start fading at that time also so you need to maybe change the spot and keep it in a nice warm place maybe indoors now I will tell you about uh, propagation 
Um, so these plants, as I said, they, all, the, all the qualities of this plant are same as that of a succulent. So this plant can be propagated from its stem, it can be propagated from its leaves as well. Um, and it's very easy to take the cuttings of the plant because I'll show you that the nodes of some of the nodes of this plant will give out roots. Um, I'll show you if you can see here. Give me a minute. So if you can see here, um, you can here you can see that there are some roots near next to the nodes. So these roots, if you take a cutting from here, from, if you make a cutting from this side and you pop this part into the soil or in the water, then the roots will start growing and you'll get your own new peperomia plant. I'll take a cutting for you to show how you can um, make the cutting. I'll show you more spots. Um, <clears throat> Here I'll show you if if you can if you can see over here. Um, so here also you can see that there are roots coming out of that node over there. There, so you can make a cutting on that side, um, make a snip on that side, and. You can take that cutting and pop it into water or soil and your own very new peperomia baby rubber plant will start from there so it's pretty easy i'll show you i have taken <coughs> sorry some of the cuttings before because this plant um grows like a bunch so i had all those branches going everywhere as you can see i've pruned this um, before like i've pruned it from here so i've already taken the cuttings i'll show you and i have pro tried propagating it two ways i've placed them in soil here and i've placed them in water as well over here So what I have seen is that, um, so I have put these cuttings, maybe I can say two weeks back. So I have seen that, so I have seen that um, the cuttings, the propagation is working quite well in water rather than that in the soil. For the soil, it ta it's taking um, quite a bit long because sometimes the soil dries out and um, you miss out giving it water, but when they're sitting in the water, they're getting it um, every time and that helps the roots to grow even more. So I'll show you. So now this one um, has been put, but um, as you can see, the roots have not started growing anywhere. It's still in the process. The roots have not started growing, uh, but whereas... <clears throat> the water propagation one I'll show you one of them here as you can see this one as you can see this one it has started growing the roots so from the top from the top as well and from the bottom from here as you can see the roots are there and over here you can see the roots here and you can see the roots on the top node as well so the roots have started growing like this so I would prefer going with the water propagation rather than the soil one and when the roots come up then I can put them back in the soil <clears throat> so now for those ones I can pop them in the soil um, to grow back again but these ones I think they might take a little bit more longer and I've also um, seen that the the more bigger the cuttings are the longer it will take the roots to uh, pop out but if this cutting is smaller then the roots will come out more quickly like if the cutting is more from the from the tip 
Um, so now I'll take a cutting over there and I'll show you how you can make that. <clears throat> So as I showed you before, over here, over here, so now this is a f very, um, quite a um, long branch and the good thing is that inside of this branch here, the roots are coming out. As if you can see there the roots are coming out from the nodes so if I make a snip there and pop it in the cup of water then I might be able to get um, roots from there um, so I'll make a snip and I'll show you Just be with me. so I'm making a snip as you can see there are the roots over here so I'll make a snip over here just bottom uh, just down there close to that node and here I'll show you you can see <clears throat> here if you can see there are some roots over there and what I'll do is I will take out this leaf from this and maybe this leaf over here as well and one more leaf so the plant does not have to stress out and also we remove the leaves to avoid the escape of water and now if you can see there are lots of roots at the bottom down there um, some focusing problem so there are some lots of roots down there if you can see so I'll pop this in the cup of water and maybe in two weeks time those roots should grow bigger so it's very easy to propagate them and very easy to take care plant um, and looks very beautiful um, lush with lush green leaves so you can try propagating it at home try and growing it um, <clears throat> hope you, you got a lot of information from this video about propagation and care of baby rubber plant Peperomia opticifolia for um, more questions you can leave the comment down there and if you like my video, please don't forget to hit the like or share button. And for more videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.